Well, uh, tonight is the last night that I will be uh, recording videos from my apartment in Crown Heights. Um, I am moving out uh, tomorrow and kind of over the next couple of days, and uh the place is looking rather bare. Um, not really a whole lot, a whole lot to see. Everything is pretty much packed up. Um, and you know, it wasn't. Oh man, I guess mm, a little over two months ago, I was sitting in this room with both Jet and Layla, and uh, laying on their bed with him, just like this. And introducing everyone to them. Uh, and they're both gone. And the other day, before I left, I guess it was a month ago, so not really the other day, but before I left for Dallas, um, after the dogs died. Um, I cleaned the dog bed and I cleaned the covers and the blankets and um, I asked a friend of mine who has a Great Dane if she, uh, if she wanted the, the dog mattress, the dog bed. And she was like, ah, you know, it's New York. My apartment's too small. And I said, all right, no problem. She said, but, you know, maybe what you should do is clean it up and use it as a place to go and sit and think. And I was like, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so I cleaned uh, cleaned off the blankets and um, and the bedding and made it all nice and clean. And uh, I put some pillows on it, and at nighttime I come in here and I open up my computer and I watch a show. And um, yeah, it's just kind of a it's just kind of a sweet time to sort of just it's almost like a weird be with them type thing. Um, they're not here, but. Uh, as I try to like process everything, um, you know, it becomes more apparent that not getting rid of things so quickly is really important. And, uh, you know, it's nice to sort of be with these things before they go and give them their due time and their place. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to keep this very long, so uh, or make this very long. So, what I kind of wanted to do was just use this final video in this apartment to, um, to just say the things that I'm grateful for. Um, when I was in Dallas recently, I was taking my uh, my um, video camera, like my camcorder that I found and just recording different people telling me what they were grateful for. And, you know, made me think like, okay, that's something I need to be doing more is practicing more gratitude and, um, you know, and, and yeah, and expressing, expressing the things that I'm grateful for and really making it a point to remember them. And so, yeah, um, I am grateful for this apartment. Um, when the dogs were around, I was having trouble finding one. And uh, that was on the ground floor since they're old and, and couldn't get up and down very easily. Um, but I found this one and I moved in. And um, it wasn't my favorite apartment, but I made it work. And so 
uh, you know, and of course this is this is the final place where I had Jet and Layla, and um, you know, it's the place where you know the first apartment in New York and the, their last apartment in New York, and um, you know, there are a lot of parts about it that I didn't like, but I learned to appreciate all of it, and um, and I'm just so grateful for the time that I had with them here. Um, man, I've been crying like every single day like a baby since I've been back. It has been so hard. And I, have, I didn't cry today. Fortunately, I've been around a lot of people and, and been moving and my mind's been busy, but this is the first time I've really sat down. But um, I'm so grateful that I got time with Jet and Layla in here um, in this apartment um, before they went. And um, I'm really grateful that despite my own shortcomings and the things that, um, you know, I regret, I'm really grateful that um, they went peacefully and they went surrounded by love and, um, And they went in good company and chewing their the best bones and the best treats in the world. And, um, you know, I had a lot of fear as they were getting old that I would be, you know, away for a couple of hours and come back and one of them or both of them would have passed and, and gotten sick or something that, like, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't control and... Um, you know, what I've learned is there's really no easy way to do it. There's no easy way to, to go about putting an animal down. And there's no easy way to grieve. And there's no easy way to prepare or to know how you're going to feel as much as you think you can. And I really thought that I could. I really thought that I could prepare myself mentally and physically for it. And it has just taken a whole different toll on me than I, I could have ever anticipated. Um... But there's a saying, better seven days too early than one day too late. And I really hope that at some point that gives me peace. You know, because... Most days, all days since they've passed, I would love one more. <laughs> But that's not life, and that is not life. Um, and having gone through this grief now, I'm also grateful for the grief. <laughs> it's a really weird thing to be grateful for, but I've never experienced it. I didn't know what it was like. Um, at 37, I just I I've had grandparents die when I was young. I've had pets die when I was young, but I haven't had any anything close to me pass. And so I just have never experienced it. I've never gone through it. And I'm really grateful to understand what it feels like because I also feel like now I can I can relate <laughs> um, somewhat uh, to people who have gone through something really difficult. And um, and I'm not I'm not comparing. I'm not saying like dogs are like parents or dogs are like children. But you know, to me, um, you know, I got them. I got them when they were really young, when they were puppies. Um, and uh, or when Jet was a puppy and Layla was like one. And you know, from from twenty one to thirty seven, I've had I've had them and um, and. That's my entire adult life, pretty much. So I'm grateful to understand what it feels like to, to try and grieve. I'm grateful for the perspective that all of this has afforded me. I'm really grateful that I, I despite, I knew it was going to be hard on the dogs, but 
um, and probably pretty hard on me, but I'm really glad that I made the decision to move to New York when I did. Um, I would have just waited for, for the right time or the perfect time. And it was just, you know, I felt like life was waiting for me and I had to do it. And I feel like some days I feel like I could have done better. And then other days I feel like I did my best with, with them or with living in New York. And, um, so yeah, I'm very grateful that I moved out here. I'm grateful that, um, I still live out here and I've managed to survive. I'm grateful to have a good friend that I'm about to move in with. Um, I love living alone, but I've only ever lived alone with a dog. <laughs> and living alone alone is a different scenario. So I'm going to move in with a friend um, tomorrow. And um, I don't know how long I'll be there, but I am excited to be in a house with a human and just just try and kind of ease into this next phase of life. Um, I am grateful to be breathing. I'm grateful for, um, my friends and my family who have supported me tremendously during this difficult time for me. Um, I'm so grateful that, um, I have, um, you know, well, I don't have any work right now. I'm looking for work, <laughs> but I'm grateful to be sustained. And I'm grateful that, um, yeah, I can eat, I can drink. I don't like drink, but, you know, drink. I have food, I have sustenance, I have breath, I have life. And I'm really grateful for all those things. Um, I miss my dogs so much. I'm so grateful for them. Um, and, uh... Uh, so many other things I'm grateful for, but I'm really grateful that I started these videos when I did. That is something I could not have anticipated being such a rewarding thing. Uh, I thought I was just doing it to like, you know, just to do it, just to start a YouTube channel. And a part of it was that, but um, but you know, Starting it at the beginning of the year, especially, I mean, had I known everything that was going to happen in the following months, um, had I not had that time to record and process, I think I would look back with such regret and wish that I had done it. So I'm very, very grateful that I, uh, that I took that leap for myself and I'm, I'm very excited and I'm very grateful for this next phase of my life, which hopefully involves a lot more making videos and, and doing what I love and leaning into this, this, you know, this, you know, uh, part of myself. Um, oh, anyway, well, if, uh, if you've watched these videos, if you've ever even made it through an entire one, because sometimes they're long, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the support, and I'm grateful for any time that, um, you know, someone has just subscribed and watched. <laughs> so, um, all right, well, I am not going to belabor this any further labor. I'm not going to belabor this any further. Um, signing off for the night. Um, yeah, very, very grateful. And um, I will see you on the next video. All right.